welcome back to the online learning classes chapter number 8 and the chapter name is static electricity before we start today's topic let us recall what we have studied in previous standard we seen that a plastic comb rubbed on dry hair attracts pieces of a paper when a balloon is rubbed to the woolen cloth then we will see the balloon will stick to the wall this is because the presence of static electricity in comb and balloon static electricity is consist of conductor and insulator a conductor is a material in that the electric can flow the insulator are the material in that electric charge cannot flow now we will see the conductor and insulator the example of conductor and insulator now we will see electric charge when the positive charge and negative charge on an object are balanced the object is neutral that is there is no net charge on the object if these charges are not balanced the object is said to be charged the force between similar types of electric charge is repulsion while the force between the opposite types of electric charge is attraction let's do an activity rub one end of a glass rod against a silk cloth due to the rubbing a small charge will get transferred from one object to other as a result both the object will become somewhat charged suspended this rod freely in air with the help of thread now charged another glass rod in the same manner and bring it near the suspended rod the two rods push each other away now take a plastic rod rub on of its end again to a woolen cloth bring that end near the suspended rod glass rod then what we will see the two rods are pulled together each other it means two rods carrying similar charges push each other away this is called repulsion two rods carrying opposite types of charges get pulled towards is each other this is called attraction the electric charges were named as positive charge and negative charge by benjamin franklin now let's see what is the origin of an electric charge all substances are made up of a particle and this particles are ultimately made up of very tiny atoms each atom has a stationary positive charge and negative charge these two charges are perfectly balanced therefore an atom is electrical neutral each atom is electrical neutral it has equal amounts of positive and negative charge in the negative charge decreases the atom becomes positively charged it means that of the two objects being rubbed one becomes positively charged and the other negatively charged as you seen in this picture static electric current it can spark shock or it can attract small particles of papers etc always remember children each atom is electrically neutral it has equal amounts of positive and negative charge if for some reason the negative charge decreases the atom becomes positively charged as you seen in this picture the white color picture first picture is thallus 
and the second picture is Thomas Brown. About 2,500 years ago, a Greek scientist named Thalamus found that feathers are attracted towards a rod of a yellow-colored amber, which had been rubbed against a woolen cloth. Amber is called electron in Greek language. Therefore, this properties of amber to attract things was named electricity by Thomas Born in 1646 A.D.